Basically, the opera is about how Benjamin Franklin used a scientific method to solve a problem in France. We asked the teachers to come up with an idea of their students about what they would like to do for their opera. Through theater games, we basically create a libretto and kind of like a dialogue of sorts. And then we select what are the important emotional moments and then we create arias, choruses, duets, things like that. Well, is this a high pitch? Do we start high pitch and then it ends low? Or we start low and then kind of have an upspeak at the end? And we somehow come up with a short kind of, I start with a short melody and I, I check with the students and I always check back with the students. It's always a very diplomatic um, answer and whether, you know, whether if they like it or not. <laughs> Here I try to emphasize the tech theater more so that more and more kids will get excited and they'll know from day one it's not all about performing. You can do research if you love research. You can build if you love building. You can do publicity if you like publicity. You can do a little bit of sewing if you like costumes. Somebody can be the stage manager and the organization. To understand that to create something there's so many facets to it and there's so many different talents. For set painting we're making a background and we're going to paint or draw backgrounds for the king's palace to put behind them. Some of us are lighting designers and some of us are lighting technicians. We like come up with ideas in a group and then we tell the technicians what to do with them, like where to stand, what color to use. We made a bunch of posters to let every, everyone know like where it is and like what time it is and stuff like that. This is how we made our skirt for our play. The historical event that we had about Benjamin Franklin coming to France and debunking the theories of Dr. Mesmer and stuff like that, that's like an incident that really happened. And for them to get to filter that through the lens of art and to rehearse it and to say those lines over and over and over again, they're gonna remember that historical incident much better than if they had just read it in a book or if they had just taken a test. So in addition to exposing the kids to all these different art forms, and have them collaborate in a larger whole that makes it all come together. I think this program is so great because if you put it through the lens of history, they basically have to take information that they're learning and then they have to kind of assimilate it and make it into a creative thing and it causes you to look at that information a different way and to remember it a different way. And to me, that that's what's so great about it. That's like, that's when it, to me, that that's when it works perfectly. Our play has lots of details about what was going on in France at that time. It has lots of people that you might know, and just ordinary civilians too. The learning keeps coming and it stays with you because you've learned it from so many different dimensions. Yeah.